Ready, this is Matt with remove-malware.com. Uh, today I'm going to go ahead and review uh, Sunbelt's Viper antivirus plus anti-spyware. Um, as many people know, this PC is a uh, highly infected PC with um, uh, over a thousand threats, I would say by now. Um, this PC evolves uh, every time I turn it on and stick it in my uh, DMZ. Um, it pretty much allows any uh, any hacker from the outside to uh, get on this PC and do whatever they want. So I left this PC on for another two days while I was out um, and came in and I see that I have an antivirus XP 2008 notice and uh, some ultimate defender stuff. Uh, if you have any questions on how I uh, test my uh, how I review my the products. Uh, it's remove-malware.com/reviews. Um, I'm not. Be, by the way, I'm not being paid by any companies or anything like that. I just like to test out products and see if they really live up to the hype. Um, sometimes it's hype. Sometimes it's not. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start the Viper install. I haven't had a chance to use Viper yet, so what I'm seeing uh, will be kind of new to me. And I guess new for many of you guys. Um, this video will be broken up into 10 minute segments just for YouTube. also going to be adding another testing condition. Um, I am going to leave this PC on for a full day after I clean off the malware and we're going to make sure it stays clean. So that will be another video following the uh, next day. Okay, let's go ahead and do it next. Um, also, I forgot to forgot to say this. Uh, I have a lot of comments and emails. I probably have over a hundred different comments and stuff to reply to from um, the super anti spyware review. I I've been gone all weekend, so I haven't had a chance to answer a single person yet. But I'll get on those. And as you can see, we still have the ever-present fake antivirus alerts down here. The, uh, the rogue antivirus stuff is so popular because it's such an easy way to extort money out of somebody and get their ID as well. I've had a lot of clients buy this, this fake stuff and they have to cancel their credit card. There's no other way around it because their credit card gets charged all around the world for different things. <clears throat> and then, um, boy, this thing's annoying. And then um, their ID is, their identity is also stolen. Okay. Um, Viper wants me to re restart um, after I've uh, installed it, so I guess I'll go ahead and do that. And I 
know I'm going to have to enter in a custom um, custom product key, so I'll probably have to pause the video for that because I'm sure they don't want me giving that out. <laughs> so. so I'm actually going to, I think I'm just going to pause it right now, and uh, when we come back, we'll configure Viper. Be right back.